Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will show you how we can extract data from any plot or image using web plot digitizer. Basically, it's a very simple process, but very powerful because uh, especially who uh, we work with uh, material based work for them, data extraction is very much important. So let's start. So for that, we have to launch this app. Uh, before uh, launching it, I must tell you that uh, this app is also available for um, offline options. So we, you can use offline by downloading it. But today I am showing you the online version. So let's first launch it. All right. So now uh, for this extraction today, I have taken this graph and I will try to extract data from this graph. Uh, this is basically the absorption pattern for a typical MAPB I3 based perovskite solars, a perovskite material. So uh, today this graph will be my sample for data extraction. So let's extract data. So first what we need to do is that we have to load this image. So let's choose this file. Okay, my computer is a little bit slow today. It's not, it's a kind of off key mode, right? Let's wait for a while. Okay, so it has been loaded. And of course, this is a two dimensional plot. So we will select this two dimensional plot here now. The first thing is we have to align the axis. So please pay attention here. So first, to uh, align the axis, we have to select four points, two in the upper and lower limit of x-axis and two on the upper and lower limit of y-axis. So let's do it. So first is the lower limit of x-axis, then the upper limit of x-axis then the lower limit of y-axis, then the upper limit of y-axis. So you can take these two points anywhere the, um, the uh, part you will be necessary. Even we can extract data from this uh, inset graph as well, the graph which is shown in the inset. All right, so now let's place complete and then we have to provide this x and uh, the limits of x-axis and y-axis. So here we can see the x-axis will start where we have placed our lower limit is one electron volt. So here we have, we are putting one and the upper limit where we have placed our upper limit mark is at 3.5. So this is 3.5. And for y-axis, the lower limit where we have put y1 is 10 to the power two. So one to the power two. And for the upper limit, where we have put the flag of y2 is 10 to the power 6. So 1 to the power 6. Now here is important that this is a logarithmic scale. So we have to select the logarithmic scale. So now place OK. Done. So now after the calibration, we have to uh, select the data that we want to um, extract. So for this, there are two modes. One is auto mode and one is manual mode. So today we will do it auto mode. In some other video, I will show you how to extract in manual mode. So for that, uh, first, let's take a pen. So there are multiple options. So today I'm showing you only one, which I use most of the time. So this is the pen and through which we can set the width of the pen. Now what the pen does is that the graph, when you just sweep the pen over that graph, it will take data from that part. Even if you are not happy with your selection, then you can erase it. So this is the purpose of this pen. So now today we will extract data not from the inset, rather we will extract data from the uh, actual graph. So let's select the pen and I think the width is fine. And this just make align through the data from or through the graph from which you want to extract the data. And here you need not to be very too careful that if I select uh, another uh, part of the graph where my data is not um, 
uh, placed what will happen because it will not um, impact much because here we can select our uh, this uh, our required color so the color here is red but yes it becomes very um, important when uh, you are having multiple graphs in the same and both are having the same color then you uh, you are having difficulty so we have selected this red and we have selected our graph so if you're not sure if it has been selected just let's place press pen again and you can see the yes your uh, data or your graph has been selected for data extraction now there is another thing that we need to uh, keep in mind that how we want to extract this data there are a couple of algorithms that web plot digitizer uses so here today uh, i will use the uh, thing i find very useful that is x step with interpolation because it's a little bit intelligent um, but sometimes it uh, it's also not very um, handy but most of the time i find it very good to use so today i am using x step with interpolation so here we, you can set uh, the resolution of x so suppose um, let's keep the default resolution that uh, the apps uh, set it by itself and that is 0 0.05 and let's run it so if we run it just see how it works check these red dot are the data it has selected over my graph now if i want more data then what i have what i need to do is that i have to just uh, make the resolution finer then let's run it now yes i have more data over the graph that i need now what we need to do is that we we need to view the data so this is my data now we need to transfer it uh, to an excel so press download csv open this data voila this is your data so this is x-axis and this is y-axis that means according to my graph x-axis is the photon energy in electron volt so this is the photon energy in electron volt and this is the absorption y-axis is the absorption coefficient in per centimeter so this is absorption coefficient per centimeter now you can utilize this data modify this data whatever you want to do this is the way how you can very easily extract a data using web plot digitizer there are a couple of ways that i will discuss in some other videos thank you very much